Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're in CSS. I'm going to be showing you the basic web page layout using CSS. So a little background here, CSS requires you to know at least the basics of HTML, which is the coding side of it, and the CSS is a styling, so this is where you will apply the background colors, the images, the text type, the font, that kind of thing. So if you do not know HTML to begin with, I'll put a couple links in the description box of some HTML beginner tutorials that I have already done. So let's get started. So first and foremost, you need to have a folder on your desktop or on your computer somewhere like I have right here that is labeled whatever the website name is. So in my case, it is website and you need to have your index.html or your home page, whatever page you're adding the styles to right here and your style.css file within that same folder. If they are not in the same folder, you'll have to do a little extra coding, which is really unnecessary. And we'll go into that in more detail in later videos. So make sure you create a folder that will house your index.html file as well as your CSS style sheet in the same folder. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. And it doesn't matter if you're coding in Dreamweaver, Notepad, whatever it may be, this will work for all programs. So the first thing we need to understand is what is the basic layout of a web page? So right here I have all of them down here. This is just the basic bare bones of a home page for a website. So first we have our container. As you notice all of these right here have a pound or a num number symbol before them. Okay, You will need these to be in front of each part or section of your web page in order to call on them later so make sure you get used to doing that so the first one is our container this is the big area of our web page okay this is the whole web page this is what encompasses our web page okay the header is at the top of the web page you'll see a header I have actually gone ahead and pulled up this web page that we're going to make here so right here you'll see the sites header over on the left you'll see the left nav or left navigation on the right, you'll see the right navigation, and then on the bottom, you will see the footer of the web page. And the whole area here is the container. That's very important. You must define your container, or else the whole thing will not work. So let's go ahead and go back into Dreamweaver here and get into it. So again, as I have already stated, when you're coding in CSS, you're styling what you've already coded in HTML. All right, HTML, think of it as your content, and the CSS is the design part of it, which will make it look really good and snappy uh, when people come to your web page. So let's go ahead and go to our index.html web page, which we've already coded here just a little bit, and I'm going to explain to you what you will need to do. So we already have our basic HTML laid out with our head, uh, body, uh, and all of that good stuff within our HTML. Now, the thing that you must focus on is you must link your HTML code sheet here to your CSS styling sheet. And in order to do that, you need to include this line right here. And the way that I've done it is because I have both of those files in the same folder, this is what I need to do. It says link space href equals quotation style.css close quotations. And then it's a style sheet, so you're putting rel equals quotation style sheet close quotation. And the type is going to be text backslash CSS all of this in quotation and then close it out. This will link the CSS style sheet to your index.html. Now index.html, that is pretty much your home page. That is what you call your home page. We'll work on other sub pages in a later video. So once you have that at the top there, that will go right under your head there, right under your head and then you'll close out the head there right below it. All right. Next, we want to go ahead and assign our header, left nav, and all of those parts we had just previously spoke about. 
So the first one is a div, okay? The first thing we're gonna focus is the div tags. You're going to tag these with div tags so CSS knows what to apply those styles to. So the container here obviously doesn't have any text content because all it is is the container that will contain everything in your web page. The next one here is the header. So in order to type out a div tag, you will go ahead and open right here and then type in div space id equals open quotation header close quotation and then close that out. Then you'll type what you want in your header and then you'll close that div tag out here on the end. If you need to, pause this video, type out what you need, and then come back to the video, that's fine. Don't worry about doing that. If you need to do that, go ahead and do that. So once we're done identifying our header, we want to go down and apply div tags to all of our parts of our website. So we're going to go ahead and apply the div to the left nav, the right nav, the body, and the footer. And again, any content you want, in these sections of the web page, you need to put that after you've closed out the div tag there. Again, make sure you're opening and closing correctly. And if you don't know how to do that, go to my basic HTML tutorials that I'll put in the description box below. Once you have all of this done here, again, you must, when you're doing your CSS style sheet, you must have the number symbol and then that section of the web page, or else the div tags will not work. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and typed in some styles and some different things in my style.css sheet that we're going to go over. And I'm going to show you how I accomplished this web page, which I have already shown you right here. I've applied some background colors as well as some padding, and we're going to learn how to do that now. So let's go into our style.css, and do not let this scare you. This really isn't that hard. Once you know what you're doing, you'll be able to do things that you never thought you were able to do. So the first thing at the beginning of the .css style sheet, make sure your container is at the beginning. This will house all of the rest of the web page. This is very, very important. So. Once we've done that, we'll, what we'll do is you'll do the number symbol, then you'll do whatever section of the page it is, then you'll do this little squirrely bracket, open bracket here, then the width of the container, which will be the whole web page, is 900 pixels, okay, just like that. Then you will close it with a close bracket right there. Go ahead and enter down a couple times. Give yourself some space. Again, if you need to pause the video, do so now. Again, let's go and focus on the header. Again, we have the number symbol, then we have header, open bracket, enter down, and then we're going to apply a few styles here. The first thing you see is the width. When you're applying a style, you go ahead and type in what that style is going to be. So in this case, it is the width of the header right here. We'll go ahead and do width, then a colon, space, then the width of the header will be 900 pixels. Obviously, you want it to be the same as your container size for the header. Then we close that by typing a semicolon right beside the pixel there. Enter down. Now we want to adjust the height, and we're doing the same exact thing. Go ahead and type in the value, and then type in 100 pixels, which is the value, and close it out with a semicolon. Then the position is relative, which means that is centered relative to our container. So you want that to be relative on your header. Now we're going to apply some color. In order to do that, you will type in background dash color, then colon, space, and then the number symbol, and you'll, you're, you're starting to get into the hex colors now. If you do not know your hex colors very well, I'll put a link in the description box on some great websites for that. But if you have Photoshop or any image editing software, you'll be able to go in there and highlight certain colors and get these values. If you are using Dreamweaver, however, you can just type in the number symbol like I'm about to do right now, and it will bring up a color picker for you just like this. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and select that color there. Next and lastly, under the header, we have our border, okay? So this is going to be a border, then dash. We want this border to be at the bottom of the header, so type bottom, then colon. We want it to be a two-pixel solid border, and we want it to be black, and the value for black is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then close that out with a semicolon, and then this is crucial. You have to close out this bracket before you go on to your next section of your web page. This will let 
the wet, you know, the code know that this needs to be within your container. So if you do not close it out with this close bracket here, it will not show up the way that you've coded it here. So as we go down here, we're doing the same exact thing. If we get over to our left nav, again, we're doing the number or pound symbol, left nav, open bracket, enter down, and what you see here is float. This is letting the code know that you want this to be floating on the left side or left hand of your page. So this is going to go down the left hand side. So make sure float, colon, then you have a space, and then left. And then on the right nav, you'll do the same thing, except this time you're going to float on the right side. Again, make sure you're closing all of these styles out with a semicolon. Then we'll do the width and the height, the background color, which I've already showed you, and then border. Again, this border, we want it on the right side, and this is going to be a one pixel dashed border. You can do dashed and solid, and I'll leave a link below on some great websites where to learn some of these commands within CSS. Again, once we're done with our left and right nav, make sure you're closing those out with this close bracket right here. Now, our body will go down here. The margin will be auto. This right here will be between your left and right nav, so make sure you set that to auto to have a nice, centered, good-looking website. Uh, the width of this body is going to be 600 pixels, and I got that number by calculating the, you know, it depends on how big you make your header and your container, but go ahead and play around with the numbers, and you want the width of your body to be a nice size. And again, you have to think about people are going to access this web page from all types of devices and web browsers, so go ahead and keep that in mind. The padding is going to be, what is padding? Padding is going to be how far it is from the left, right, top, and bottom. So the first value here, 10 pixels, is the left-hand side or the left nav. The next you'll see here on the far right is the right nav, and the one right here is the top, and the third one is the bottom, okay? So that is the padding. You don't want your text that you type in your body to be right up against your left or right nav, okay? Lastly, we'll see our footer here, and this is very important, clear both. What does this do? When you type in clear, colon, space, both, and then close it out with a semicolon, this clears both the right and left nav, because you don't want to have those, you know, you want your footer to go ahead and, and scale across your whole web page. And then I just applied a nice background color to my footer. So let's pull the web page up one more time here, and look, you can see exactly what we have done. Here is our header with a nice blue background color. Here is our left nav with the nice dashed right-hand border here on this side. The body, which is right in here, and the padding, as you can see here, is from the left nav to the text. And then you'll see our right nav and our footer over here. All of that done using the CSS style sheet. So guys, this has just been a basic rundown of you know, a basic web page. If you can learn this, you can do almost anything, and the, the possibilities are endless with CSS. I absolutely love CSS. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you, help me by subscribing to my channel for more great tech content like this, and go ahead and hit the thumbs up button below and like this video. And guys, thanks again as always for watching my videos. Go ahead and keep a lookout for more CSS tutorials in the very near future, and I will see you guys next time.